Hey guys, Jessica here. So today I want to talk to you about the Spectre wearable. This pump has been on the market for several years. It's been imported into the US for quite a few years now. However, I did just see that it got FDA approval here in the US. So I would expect this to hit the US market really soon. This wearable is has great reviews from people who've used it. The biggest issue has been an inability to find the replacement parts. And to date, I have not been able to find this. Let me pull this motor off and show you. This is your backflow protector. It's a really long, uniquely shaped oval. It does last just as long as the other Spectre backflow protectors. So you're talking it works for typically about eight to 12 weeks on average, um, even for people who are pumping quite often. But if you can't find a replacement, that means that your motor may well outlast your ability to use the pump. So hopefully with it being FDA approved, we'll start to see replacement parts because this is a really solid performing wearable. The design is a little bit clunkier than average. It's a little bit taller. We have this middle section, which it does look kind of funny. However, it's there to help with the housing that allows you to have the suction that this thing can achieve. This thing is really, really good suction. So let's just take a look at the design. So you've got a bottle down here. They do have a setup where you can use this with a bottle nipple. It was workable. It was a little clunky. I don't expect to see a bunch of people doing that, but the bottle does remind me kind of like the LV bottle and we've not had a problem with people not being able to feed from there. You've got the center piece here, not the easiest to get apart. You've got a decently sized motor. All of the controls for the pump are right here. Let me see if you can see this. So you've got your stimulation button here. You've got your three modes of expression. You've got a plus and minus to turn it up and down. I don't even know if we can see it. Yeah, it's a little too hard to see online. So I'll get some pictures of it for a blog. This is basically just like a cover for this plan shutup. This plan shutup is a lot closer to a traditional plan shutup than what we typically see with a wearable which is part of the reason I think it's just a wearable that works. It's going to work. It, it knows what it's doing. It does a good job. So you've got your be basic backflow, and then you've got a really good size duckbill. This to me looks to be the same as the average duckbill, and I've never had complaints with people's inability to replace this. It's always been this part. But while it works, people have really liked the pump. I do have some concerns about the price of the pump for the features because this is not a smart pump. This motor is not connected to an app. All of your controls are right here. It doesn't have any fancy features. You've got basically four modes, one stimulation, three expression. You've got five levels in each. It goes to preset, suction, and speed. And that's about it. Right now, you're able to buy them imported for about $140 to $160 a hub which is not terrible, except when you talk about if you want a double set, then you're talking 280 to 320, which in this today's market is the same price as some of our smart pumps. So that may be something for people to consider is that this may not have as many smart features as what the price will command. Spectra is also known for the parts actually being cheaper to import from South Korea than to buy here in the US. For example, you can still import Spectra's Kara Cups for $35 or pay $70 here. So that's a big price difference. So if we see that same price hike here, this could easily be a three to $500 wearable. And while I like it, I'm not sure that a non-smart wearable commands that price today. So that may be something that hinders it. But let's take a look at the actual patterns it's running because those are pretty cool. So here are your four basic modes. Starting at the top left, you've got stimulation, just a very basic, it did not have that micro vibration to it. However, the motor does have a little bit of a vibration to it and where it's sitting on the breast, I would say that for most people that need vibration, it's gonna basically work for you. It's not gonna be a big deal. Expression mode is on the top right, again, it's a straight up and down pattern, nothing fancy. It's a pattern that your body is going to know if you've used any other breast pump. And I found the speeds and strength settings to be pretty equivalent to the other spectras that I've used. I didn't find it to be you know, a pattern that you wouldn't recognize. If you're using a spectra, you should be able to use this pump, no problem. Down here on the bottom left is 
expression two, which is a long, short, long, short pattern. And that's a lot like the two phase that we see with the baby Buddha. We see it with the Zomi Fit and the Zomi Z2. This is a pattern that a lot of people really like because it's very good at stimulating very quick emptying of the breast, which can be really good if you are pumping to be able to empty quickly and move on with your day. Now, down here on the bottom right, this is expression mode three. And I have seen patterns like this before. The Unimom Minuet is what comes to mind. The Bella Babies wearables have a similar pattern. However, I have never encountered a pump that does this pattern, which is this little stair step, pull, pause, pull, pause, pull, and then go back down to zero. That does it for a sustained period of time. Like if you look at the cycle speed, this cycle speed is, it was down as low as 12 cycles per minute, which is really low. However, it is a very effective pattern. I was very surprised how comfortable it was. And it felt like it should empty a breast really, really quickly. And it seemed like it would be really good for moms who maybe struggle to get a letdown with conventional pump patterns. I actually hope that we're going to see this pattern on some of the other Spectra pumps in the future because it did seem to be effective and we really don't see anything like that on the market today. Let's go over here and let's take a look at the MMHG suction strength and the cycle speeds. On simulation, 75 to 175 would cover the vast majority of people's needs. Cycle speeds were as high as 102, which is fantastic, especially for a wearable. That's actually faster than the Spectra S1 and 2, which most people love. And then it, go, it goes down to 54. On expression one, we're running 54 to 28. And this is the settings that they really did remind me of, you know, expression on the Spectra S1 or 2. So I think people are going to like that. The two phase down here in expression 2 was 125 to 250 mmHg and cycle speeds from 66 to 52. Again, these are fantastic cycle speeds. And then on expression 3, a little bit trickier, but overall, we are dealing with a fantastic pumping program here. I am really excited to see if this pump is going to take off in the U.S. It could be a very basic, very functional wearable that's going to kind of bridge that gap between the wearables and more heavy duty pumps, which I think is really important because wearable pumps have changed the face of pumping and a lot of people are not getting the brakes that they need to pump at the frequency they need. Wearables are allowing moms that need to pump at a higher frequency or for longer periods of time to be able to do this without having to work 12 hours in order to incorporate their eight hour workday because they're taking so many pump breaks. Wearables are not going anywhere and we need a lot more competition in that market. So this should be good. My only concern though is really the price and then the replacement parts. If we knew for sure that it's going to be reasonably priced and that the replacement parts are going to be readily available, this is definitely something I would tell people to consider as long as it's priced reasonably. We won't know that until it hits the market though. So that is something people will want to watch for because if it was only on the U.S. market for a short period of time, my concern would be, are we going to have the same issue even after it hits the U.S. market with the replacement parts being hard to get? Because again, replacement parts are necessary to keep your pump functioning. If you don't have replacement parts, you might as well not have a pump because it's no longer operational. So this is just things to think about as we're watching this pump to see if it's going to hit the market. But once it hits the market, if you feel like it's at a price point that you'd like, this might be a really good option for people who've done really well with the Spectras in the past. <music>